Hello students. In this video, we will solve a numerical based on the concept of transforming electrical energy into heat energy. So, read the numerical. How long will it take to raise the temperature of 880 gram of water from 16 degree Celsius to boiling point? Boiling point of water, we know it is 100 degree Celsius. The heater takes 2 ampere at 220 volt and its efficiency is 90%. So, firstly understand the numerical as if it is a real life experiment. So, see, when heater is being used in this experiment, which takes 2 ampere when connected across 220 volt, and operates at efficiency of 90% and this heater will now be used to raise the temperature of 880 gram of water from 16 degree Celsius to boiling point. Now conceptually what happens over here is heater will produce heat energy by taking electrical energy as input. Heat energy will be output of the heater and this output heat energy of heater is actually input heat energy to water and input heat energy to water can be found out by using the formula of sensible heat. So whenever heater is giving heat energy as input to water, whole heat energy is absorbed by the water and can be found out in the form of sensible heat absorbed by the water. And we know the formula for sensible heat is M into S into delta T. So conceptually what is happening over here is understood I guess. Now we will try to solve this numerical for the time required for this process. So we will firstly write down the things given. So it is 0.88 kilogram of water and initial temperature T1 is 16 degree Celsius, it is better to convert it into Kelvin and final temperature of the water is 100 degree Celsius, it is better to convert it into Kelvin. It will be noted as T2. And we know current being taken by heater is 2 ampere when connected across voltage 220 volt and efficiency eta can be denoted as eta is equal to 0.9. Now while using the formula for sensible heat, we will definitely need the value of S that is specific heat capacity of water. In this case, substance is water. So, specific heat capacity of water is generally taken as S is equal to 4180 joule per kg Kelvin. Now, we will solve it. So, as I said, if you have understood it conceptually, heat energy output from heater will be equal to heat energy input to water. So, heat energy input to water can be found out by using the formula for sensible heat and formula for sensible heat is M into S into delta T where M stands for mass of the substance, S stands for specific heat capacity of the substance and delta T is the temperature difference in the final temperature and initial temperature. So, if we substitute these values as identified in the given, what we get is 3 lakh 8985.6 joule. So, heater is producing heat energy equal to 3,8985.6 joules. Now, these many joules are being produced by heater in the form of heat energy by taking electrical energy as input. So, if we want electrical energy in joules being given as input to heater, we can simply find it out using the formula output by efficiency. So, EI can be written as EI stands for electrical energy input to heater in this case and H is the output of heater divided by efficiency of the heater. So, what I get is if I substitute the values, I get 3,43,317.33 joules are being given as input to heater in the form of electrical energy. 
So see, as I said, this is a numerical based on converting electrical energy into heat energy. But this is not the ultimate aim of this numerical. We actually want time taken by this process. So now we have to bring time in some formula so that we find it, find out the time required for the process. If it is electrical energy, we know electrical energy can also be found out by using a formula involving time as a parameter. So this formula is electrical energy is equal to V into I into T where V stands for voltage, I stands for current and T stands for time. Now we already know all these values. Input energy, ele input electrical energy is known, voltage across which heater is connected is known, current that heater is taking is known. The only unknown thing in this formula is time. So if we substitute the values, we can very simply get the value of time in this case. It comes out to be 780 seconds. If we divide it by 60, we get it in minutes. So ultimately 13 minutes is the time that is required in this process of raising the temperature of water from 16 degrees Celsius to 100 degrees Celsius. I hope you will be able to solve such numericals wherein time required for heating process is asked. Now based on the similar concepts, I am giving you two homeworks and I also have given answers to these questions. The two numericals given in this homework are similar to what we discussed so far in this video. I hope you will be able to solve it. You can pause this video and can note down the homework. Thank you.